I don't suppose you know which way to the nearest interstate, Shorty. You have much to learn, young man. Gee, it talks. What carnival did you escape from? I am Toron, and while much of what you say is unknown to me, I cannot help but notice your tone is less than respectful. You know this guy, Princess? If he is Tauron, and I have no reason to doubt it, he may help us. The wisdom of Tauron is legendary. I am the Tauron of whom you speak. And yes, Princess Natalia, I am privileged to be numbered among the wise. I guess there ain't a lot of room for modesty in there. Okay, short stuff, what's happening? I have waited many moons for you, Jack Thompson. Not everything in the world is as simple as you would like to believe. There are forces at work here which must be resolved, and you, Jack Thompson, are the man to do it. Well, it can't get any weirder, I guess. Keep talking. The fabric of your reality has been torn by the conflict raging there. This dimension is separate from, but aligned to the reality you know as your home. This island is the island of Yagmar in the Koryal Sea. In times past, it was ruled by the Snake Men, who enslaved all those who fell through from your world. But the Snake Men grew crueler and more decadent, until one day the men rose up and all but vanquished them. We've had a few revolutions, not all of them good ones. Your politics are no concern of mine, but if you stay in Yagma, you would be well advised to heed my counsel. I'm not planning on staying, but right now I can't see any exit signs. If I understand you correctly, you wish to leave us. But first, you must understand that your fate and the fate of the island of Yagma are inextricably intertwined. Neat, Jack. That's great. You fell through a hole in reality, and now all you gotta do is save the world. Gee, Jack, you get all the good breaks. Okay, where to now? The king of Yagma is mortally ill. The island is now ruled by the iron fist and bloody hand of Telquad, formerly the most trusted advisor of the king, but now a man whose ambition will destroy all that has been built. Only one person stands between Telquad and victory, and that person, Jack Thompson, is you. Right. Okay. So if I help you, you'll help me get back to... Uh, my dimension. I cannot help you, but the king, if he lives, may be able to assist you. Somebody explain to me why I don't feel overjoyed by all this. Okay, princess. Shall we hit the trail? One last thing, Jack Thompson. A word of advice. A gift given freely to one of the wise may reap a great reward. Hey, Princess, take a torch, why don't you?
I am as you see me, Jack. No hidden extras. Jack, I'm not sure I like the way you're looking at me. Can't a guy even squint? Jack, I feel strange. Almost as though we are being watched. Natalia, throw the torch in the hole. Do it!
Thompson.
They say life in the jungle is nasty, brutish, and short, and you certainly fit that description. What now? I think perhaps you are not showing the right level of respect, but I will let that pass for now. Before I help you, you must help me. Sure, okay. I guess I'm stuck here now in Dino Fantasy Land. How do those teleporters work, by the way? A few of those would put the New York subway out of business. You speak strangely, and of things of which I know nothing. But listen, you have seen the ruined city of serpents, and have met the Merians, the destroyers of our civilization. Still, even now, many of our people are held as their slaves. If you choose to help us, I will help you in return. Imagine how it will be to wield a sword of unimaginable magic power. You must help us. Did I just hand you a card saying, Hero for Hire? Hmm, okay, I'm along for the ride, short guy. Hmm. I had hoped for someone a little less unstable. Hysteria will not help you in the trials that lie ahead. But it is said that foolishness and bravado may prevail over caution and clear thinking, but only for the very, very lucky. I will lead you to the place where I believe our people are held prisoner. Natalia will stay here. The journey is far too perilous and likely to end with your death. Still, I wish you luck. Thank you, Jack Thompson. You have done me a great service. I will now reveal the path to the chamber where the sword lies. And now, any suggestions? There is a plant that grows in the jungle, which is said to give great wisdom. Perhaps you should try it, Jack. 
I don't need stuff like that. Oh no, Jack, you don't understand. As the plant swallows you, you are afforded a vision of the world that is quite unique. You know, I'm getting to realize why you still have dinosaurs around here. The two of you kind of go together. What's a dinosaur, Jack? Presumably, when you were a kid, you had a pet dinosaur. What is a dinosaur, Jack? Does the word anthropology mean anything to you? That sounded like an insult, Jack. Never write a reality check, sweetheart. It might bounce. I don't believe in coincidences. Can you see a plan to any of this? Kiss me, Jack Thompson. I know what you mean about being watched. It's kind of spooky.
I don't think I should do that. Natalia, I think maybe you should get into the teleporter.
I don't f
Wait, wait, do not kill me. You don't look too well, pal. Who are you? Dorkin, commander of the guard and friend of the king, if he lives. What happened to you? It is... It's too late for me, but I must tell you, there's... Take it easy, man. Just tell me what happened. The other guards... The other guards aren't what they seem. They are all snake men. One of them died, and I saw his true face. The face of a snake. You managed to get a photo? Never mind. Go on. When I saw the snake man, I told Telquad, the king's advisor. Next thing, I woke up in the dungeon. I escaped, but they are still after me. Go. Go now before they arrive. If they catch you, you are dead. Hey man, don't worry. I got the attitude and I got the bullets to match. Telquad... Telquad isn't human. I think he... I think he's... 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 Oh. So, Telquad's the bad guy. That makes sense, I guess. Don't worry, friend. You won't go unavenged. Wait. Wait. Use this key to gain entrance to the city. Take it. I shan't be needing it again. Don't worry, friend. You won't go unavenged.
suggestions? There is a plant that grows in the jungle. Places in the world. You have some. I want to know what. Sometimes it is better to think about what you have seen than to rush blindly forward. I've seen enough to know. I am as you see me. You should come.
Telquad, in person no less. Be silent, be still, in these your last few moments of life. I am Telquad, Lord of the Coriel Sea, King of Yagmar, and conqueror of all that you behold. Your death is inevitable, your quest has been foolish. Before you die in agony, do you have any final words, mortal fool? You know something, pal? I've been looking forward to this. Do I have any final words? How about, eat shit and die? Brave words at the very last. Make your peace with whatever gods you believe in. And you make yours, peckerhead. You have breathed your last... Ugh, your breath smells...
You have reserves of strength, Jack Thompson, but you are still staring at defeat. You have reserves of strength, Jack Thompson, but you are still staring at defeat. Time to check out, asshole. Oh! 
Stranger, are you the Prince of Persia? No, I come from another world. Father, his name is Jack Thompson. He saved my life, vanquished Telquad, and freed you from the Black Sleep. I owe you a debt which can never be repaid, Jack Thompson. Your Highness, which is the right road out of here? But why do you want to leave? There are many ways in which our gratitude may be expressed. I give you Natalia as your queen, and soon, one day, you will rule all of Yagma. So, on the one hand, I get a princess, a kingdom, and all that goes with it, and on the other, hey, that's a no-brainer. Deal me in. I am truly satisfied. You both have my blessing. Well, I'm sure I could think of something. What do you say, princess? I'm ready if you are, Jack. How do you expect me to keep up with the baseball scores? I'm out of here. I gotta get back to my unit. Jack, there is a word we use here in Yagmar. It is magical, and we do not quite understand it. But the word is... Sequel. Until we have our sequel, Jack, you must stay here with us. So, on the one hand, I get a princess, a kingdom, and all that goes with it. And on the other... Hey, that's a no-brainer. Deal me in! I am truly satisfied. You both have my blessing. Well, I'm sure I could think of something. What do you say, Princess? I'm ready if... <laughs>